Occupation? No occupation. Housewife. That's right, housewife. All right. And mother. Yes. No, thank you. I don't think a woman should smoke. You'll excuse me saying it. Yes, I'll excuse you. It's not feminine. How long have you been married, Mrs. Attinger? Nine years and four months. I see. And 12 days. And you have three children. Warren Jr., he's eight. Alan, he's seven. And Trudy, she's six. That's all. When did you first notice you was losing your husband's affection? When he stopped batting me around. And when was that? Eleven months ago, March 14th. He struck you? First time he broke a tooth. My tooth. I see. Upper left molar. And how often? It's capped now. You can't see it. Good. Now let's start with the day of the accident. Oh no, no accident. I wanted to shoot him. Suppose we wait until later to determine what you wanted to do. I'm silly. The difference between 10 years in prison and freedom is not silly, Mrs. Attinger. Call me Doris. Listen to what I'm trying to say. I don't care what happens to me. Do you care what happens to Warren Allen and Trudy? Yes, I do. I want to go home. Can't you just fix it so I should go home? Not now, but we're working on it. I promised my kids I'd take them to Coney Island tomorrow. Yes, drink that. Now, you could help us very much if you could reconstruct the day, all of yesterday. Well, first thing in the morning. Yes? I woke up. Yes. And I see you didn't come home. And you were shocked and surprised? <laughs> no, not, not shocked, not surprised. He used to not do that a lot. Come home. Did you ever question him about his behavior? Certainly. Did he ever offer an explanation? Certainly. He told me to shut up and mind my own business. But yesterday, I got worried. Not worried, mad. I got mad. You want to know why? Why? Because it was the fourth night in a row he didn't. Come home? Yeah. And that made you angry? Sure. It was going to be a habit with him. So I sent the kids off to school and I went and bought a gun. Where? This hawk shop I go to. At this point, had you already decided what you was going to do? I'll tell you the honest truth. I didn't decide nothing. I was doing everything like it was a dream. Like I was watching myself, but I couldn't help it. Like a dream. And then I got hungry. When? When I bought the gun. Yeah? So I went to this hamburger place and I ate two, rare, and one lemon meringue pie. And then? Then I was still hungry. So I walked around and I kept talking to myself not to be foolish. And, and then? And then I called up Warren. He was just getting his lunch hour by now and I said I wanted to see him in Portland so if we could have lunch together. So he said no, naturally. So I asked him, you coming home after? So he says, what for? So I said, don't you live there no more? So he says, don't bother me at work. Do you want me to lose my job? Loud. So then he hung up. And then what did you do? I had a cup of coffee. Where? Same place as him, only he didn't see me. It was crowded. The buffet exchange. So then I bought some chocolate nut bars and I went outside of his office and I waited the whole afternoon. And I kept eating candy bars and waiting until it came out. And then I followed him. And then I shot him. And after you shot him, how did you feel? Like I would do it all over again if I had to.